Now, we're going to talk about Luma and Unreal Engine, how they connect together. So whenever you go to Luma AI and you create your account, you will have a button under this here, which just says create. So we go here and you have to drop down the file, preferably it's a video file. Uh, if you want to know more about how to make the video, then you just click on the help. There will be some description here, you know, disable HDR, uh, go around loops, three heights, you know, phone, chest and head and so forth. The video can only be five gigabits tall. What I find out for myself is that QuickTime ProRes is much better. The higher the codec and format that you can go with is better. Uh, so if you have to sacrifice something, it's better to sacrifice the resolution. So if you go to HD and but the higher format, then it's better than higher resolution and less quality of the format. So of course you can do a zip file, but uh, I found out that the zip doesn't work well, so I will stick to the QuickTime videos. Uh, if you want to know more how to make videos correctly and film them the right way, there's FAQ here, which describes everything. Also, you can find more information online. So whenever you're ready and you have your video, you just drop down it in here. So you can name it, just upload. It'll take a while. I have the video here already prepared. So this video, when you click on it, it will open it and you will be able to see the preview. This was a quick one. So I didn't go three loops. I didn't do it quite right. So if you do it, correctly it should be much better it should look more like this one like this video you know it's much more cleaner if you do it the right way so you need to download it right you go back here and click this arrow and download and you have several options here so you have an object you can download as obj and uh, different poly uh, quality and then you have scene point cloud and full mesh and so forth but we need unreal engine stuff and we need to first download the plugin so you go to plugin uh, there's some information here about how it works, and then you have a uh, game starter project and film starter project. So it's not like a plugin, but it's a project file of Unreal Engine that you download and then you uh, open it up. That's how it works. So there's a 5.1, 5.2, it always updates. So we're going to go and download the film starter 5.1. I already did. I have it on my laptop here. Export from zip file, and then you'll be able to open it up here. But before that, we also need to download the model, right? So after you download the plugin, you go and click on Luma Field File. This is going to be the file of this point cloud. So whenever you do that, you'll have both files here and now open this file. Now whenever you open the file, you'll have a sample that is already prepared here for you. But we don't need to use that. We can go and look around, but I advise you to get rid of all of this information like text, logo, and well, if you need a player start, you can use that and delete anything that you don't need. And get rid of the whole uh, scene here. Then. Go to the file that you downloaded from Luma AI and drag and drop into Unreal Engine. Easy as that. And let me prepare the shaders here before we move on. So now you will have six files here. Three of them are having the name title baked and the three of them has got word dynamic. The difference is that baked files are having a baked texture. So you will not be able to illuminate in any way in Unreal Engine. And dynamic will be able to be illuminated. So there's a full scene here and then there's a just a part which Luma AI guesses what object you were walking around and filming so it kind of cuts it out but in our example it's a room so it just cut some part I'll compare them both for you so let me just make them a little bit bigger so on the left is baked and on the right is dynamic they're kind of the same but whenever you for example go and affect light source as you can see the dynamic can be illuminated and baked will stay the same so depending on your goal choose the right one accordingly we're going to choose this one, like with environment, the final one. So whenever we drag and drop this item onto the scene, uh, it'll be a mess. There's so much point cloud in here that we don't see anything and it will also lag your system. So whenever you move, it will be laggy. Uh, first, I would do is to bring the location into the center and you will see this ball. So in the center, there's this room, this 3D room. So if you scale it up by 25, let's say, you will see we're inside the room. But uh, it's so laggy, we need to get rid of this unnecessary uh, points so let's go back to one and now there are settings here called crop bounding box so we're going to crop this into this box and get rid of this points that go beyond this room whenever you crop this you will see that for example this one if we go to zero see we're cropping top and this one will be left and this one will be right and so forth right so let me crop it and i'll come back okay so i cropped it a bit so it's much easier to move around what i also did there's another setting here, which is a quality. So if you go to minimal for now, it'll be easier to move around. So now I'm gonna 
improve the cropping here. I'm gonna scale it up just to see it better. And then I'm gonna move around and crop it even further. So like, if I go here, you see that I don't need this wall, so it'll be one, right? But then we have this mask. There's another option, which is crop rotation. So you see it crops on an angle. So if you rotate this uh, on this side, we'll get rid of this crop and align it evenly. So this is another option you can use if, uh, if you need it. We also don't need the top. I'll crop it even more in a second. Okay, so I cropped it even further. And you will notice that whenever you bring the model from Luma AI into a Unreal Engine, there will be no reflections like it was in here, right? If we open this up, you see the reflections here and the model is much more crisper and has got better quality. You see, it's, it looks much more real. And whenever you want to download a file, it even says, exported 3D files do not currently carry view dependent effects like reflections, currently at least, in 2023. That might be an issue if you want to use this model directly in Unreal Engine. Now, what can be done next? The next, you can set up the camera and then export the camera, import it back into Luma AI, and then render it out from Luma AI. I will show you how it's done. Now, the scale in Unreal Engine and the scale in Luma AI will vary. It will still have to be adjusted in Luma AI. So what I do before I move it to Luma AI, I scale it accordingly for the camera and the sense of the environment. So I go and find my mannequin, put him in here, set it to the center, scale the environment accordingly, following the reference of the mannequin. I know it'll be four in my example. Now I'm going to set up the camera. I, this is not going to be tutorial about the camera, so I'm just going to do it, you know, and set the keyframe here. Also, don't forget about the frame rate. So keep it as original video was. And keep it the same in Luma AI as well. So here we go. We have the video here. Uh, what needs to be done when you, once you set this up, we just need to go and the right click on the camera and go to export. And we're going to export this FBX of camera. Keep the settings by default. And then when you go back to Luma AI, we have to open this scene and on the bottom right there's play but you need to click the square a preview of this video you can move around you see what uh, can be done actually if you have simple camera motion you can do it directly here so if you go and click on this photo icon you have this keyframe and then you move here and then you have another keyframe and then just render this out so you go to render you have this uh, resolution you set by HD, keep the FPS of uh, the original video, and then just render. And then you have the video, the video only. And it'll be good quality like it is in here. You'll have all the reflection and stuff. But uh, if you want it from Unreal Engine, because you can move camera even better somehow, create, for example, a vertigo effect and so forth, what you can do is just uh, import this camera that we have, and it will import it in here. You will see it. So if you click on preview, you will see it's in the wall somewhere so we need to move it we need also to change the scale so if you go to transform path you have all the settings on the position and the rotation and scale so you always need to double the scale and then you have this scale closer to the original from unreal but as you can see we need to move it as well also you have to rotate it so this will do so once you're done, you just have to set the resolution and FPS and just click uh, render. It will go into the render queue here. It will take some time. Once it's done, you will go back here and it will appear under your renders. Additionally, once it's ready, you will see the download button here. You can also click on the preview this and then just click video download. And here you go. That's your video. Of course, it's not perfect because it has to be filmed well and prepared well. You need to put more work into it. If you want to keep reflection, it's not yet available, unfortunately, to be directly used in Unreal Engine. There's an issue with the scaling once you bring the file from Unreal Engine to Luma AI. So I don't know what is the ratio, what is the relationship between the two. If you know, let me know. But for complete photo reel compositing, that might be an issue. 